Greetings valued employers. My name is Jessica Estrada. I'm the events manager for the UC Riverside Career Center. As you know, all of our fairs are gonna be held virtually. The career fair is gonna be comprised of group sessions as well as one-on-one -on -one sessions in which you set up and then students will sign up to join those sessions that you create. So let me give you a tour on how it's gonna look like when you register for the event and as well as set up your sessions. To register for the fair, click on the blue register button to the right hand side of the screen. Once you've filled out your registration and we've approved you, you will be connected to the fair. You will then have access to this window. This window looks similar to your registration window, except you will have the opportunity to set up your sessions. So let me get you acclimated to the options in the menu bar. You have details, which will share details of the event. You can click on all employers, which will show you all of the employers that will be present for the virtual fair. You can click on RSVPs. This will show you all of the students that have RSVP'd for your one-on-one -on -one sessions, as well as your group sessions. And the most important is schedule. This option is gonna allow you to schedule all of your group sessions and your one-on-ones. When you're ready, click on schedule and this window will pop up. You'll see that you'll be able to add your sessions here by clicking on the add session button. Now you are ready to create your schedule. The first step is to add team members. This is the team members that will be actively recruiting the day of the event. You can search for their name and you can click the box right next to their name or you can add them manually. Once you're done, go ahead and click add team at the very bottom. And then you'll move on to the next step, which is adding group sessions. Handshake is now allowing 12 available 30 minute group sessions with up to 50 students per organization. You will be able to use the video session in Handshake or an external video platform. I've already created some sessions, but Basically, when you create it within Handshake, you will add in a title, a description. You'll also indicate how many team members will be present in the session and choose your time. Now it's time to add one-on-one -on -one sessions. One-on-one -on -one sessions allows the employer to meet with students for 10 minutes long. To set up the session, go ahead and click on the three dot icon or the add one-on-one -on -one session. Once you click on that, you will want to indicate whether you want preferences to the session. If you click on yes, you will be able to define criteria like graduation date, minimum GPA, and majors to ensure only qualified students sign up for these sessions. Now it is important to note that when you do enable this preference, it is limiting students to sign up only that meet those qualifications. So I'm gonna put no for this example and then schedule session. The final stage is being able to review all of your group sessions as well as your one-on-ones. Once all of your sessions and your schedule looks complete, you will click the confirm schedule and invite team at the bottom blue button. Congratulations, your schedule for the fair is now set. I do wanna highlight how you can manage your sessions in this window. So if you scroll down, you'll be able to see your one-on-one -on -one time slots are gonna automatically be available. To the right-hand side, you would click the three dot icon. You can mark yourself busy if there's a certain time frame that you don't wanna meet with students so students won't sign up or if you wanna to switch to an external video host, you'd be able to do that by clicking this option down here. Now, as you can see, a student has signed up for the session. So any student who has signed up for your session, you're able to view their profile and find out more information about them. You can toggle back to the screen. 
of the event. You also have the option to cancel the meeting, to send a message, or to again switch to an external hosted video. If you scroll down a little bit more, you'll be able to find your group sessions. When you find your group sessions, you'll be able to see who has RSVP for your session. You'll be able to see all the students, highlight their name, and it'll also take you to their profile. Clicking the three dot icons will allow you to either cancel the meeting or mark that you are not attending. So every session that you are signed up for is gonna show up on this window. Now if we scroll up, here is the manage session option. Once you click on this, you're gonna have five options to manage your sessions. You'll be able to add team members to group sessions, create a new group session, manage existing group sessions, transfer a schedule to a team member, or clear your one-on-one -on -one qualifications. When you click on the RSVP button, this is the window that you will see. I wanted to point out some features in regards to downloading resumes and messaging students. So you'll be able to click this button here where you can select all of the students once you do that. Then this menu bar will pop up. You're able to click here to message students and you can send them all a message. You'll have the ability to add labels. Handshake has already generated two labels for you, has potential, possibly valuable. You can also create your own label and then apply a label. If you click the more button, you can remove labels, download the CSV, you can download resumes. And if there's a lot of resumes, then you can download the zip file. Again, we would like to thank you so much for registering for one of our virtual career fairs for this academic year. As a quick recap, after you register for the fair, don't forget about the features on the menu bar to help you navigate through the fair and set up your schedules. And just a quick highlight, if you need to test out the Handshake video, click this button here and it'll help you to do so.